Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Matt. Today we're talking about the summer drop of Essentials for 2019 and what I picked up. Let's get into the video. So a few months ago, I actually made a video titled, Is Fog Essentials Dead? And at the time, and really even a little bit now, I begged the question of, is Jerry just giving us these pieces that say Essentials on it, and not really giving us stuff from his mainline collection. A lot of the older collection stuff from like the first season of Fog, second season of Fog, was really what Jerry was doing with his mainline collection. And honestly, I was really hoping that Jerry would bring some of that back and give us some more cut and sew pieces. But it seems like a lot of the stuff is the same, but better. So when the lookbook dropped, I was really only interested in a lot of sweatshirts and maybe a little bit of the t-shirts if I could get them. I know that those sell out really fast and honestly, I already have a ton of Essentials t-shirts. But I thought I'd pick up one of the pieces from the collection just because I thought I liked how it looked. It had a little bit of more unique characteristics to the Essentials line that really differed from some of the previous collections. The only thing that I picked up personally was this sweater. This is the Essential sweatshirt with kind of that 3M backing. If there is no 3M, it actually is gray, which I really like. I thought the white was maybe a little bit too much. But with the 3M on the back, you can see that it just gives it a little bit different look just depending on how it hits. And it just tends to sparkle a little, little bit more versus previous collections. I love how just how it kind of blends in a little bit more than for previous collections where it's just plain white. And actually, I think down a little bit further on it. I'm not sure if it was right across the top. I think having it along like the shoulder area kind of makes it more look like a team piece. Kind of like what you would see in sports where they have like the name plates across the back. This is what it kind of feels like more. It's, it's essentials right here and not really anywhere else. On the front, there is literally nothing. It is a plain black sweatshirt. The one thing I did notice that changed with this collection was that they changed the tag to a black one. I don't know if they did that with like the photo collection, the photo album one where they had like the photo on the back. I didn't pick up anything from that because I wasn't really into it. But this one I noticed that both tags were black on it, whereas I think previous collections were white or like this cream tag to it. I actually really like the new black tag. I was about to go check it with my Fear of God 6 collection tee, but that one has a cream tag. This one's black, which I thought was interesting. Maybe it's changing the tag to make it kind of feel more like it's its own thing instead of something else. I really like it. I think one of the funniest things I saw in the Locust and Wild Hunting Group was that they actually cheapened out on the kind of like tag that comes with it. But as you can see on it, just says Essentials across Fear of God and it's like tag. Honestly, nothing special. I honestly didn't realize it, but it is a fleece inside. It's not a cotton terry. I honestly thought this was a cotton terry one. I'm honestly fine with fleece. I think that when people were comparing the previous collections to Walmart's fleece, I thought that was a little dramatic. Fleece can be more expensive just depending on how you source it. And I think Jerry did a good job with this collection. It's not as good as my Daniel Patrick fleece hoodies that I have, but they're pretty good. The one cool detail I really like is actually on the sleeve, there is the essential sphere of God. It's super subtle. It's embroidered on. I didn't even think the black hoodie had it, honestly. I thought it was only on the colored sweatshirts. So for it to be on here, I thought was really nice. This one was actually cheaper than the other ones too and has that embroidery right here, which I thought was great. And overall, I think that for the price that it's at, it's a little pricey, but you are paying for the exact fit of how Jerry likes his stuff. I got mine in a size large, and as you guys kind of know, if you watch it, I've been between a large and extra large. I've been leaning more towards larges lately, and I would say that I'm a regular fit large and probably an extra large slim. I don't know, I, I've, I've just been really in between sizes right now, between large and extra large. But I took a large in this because I really still wanted that drop shoulder look. I wanted just like the way that it flowed down more and kind of more cinched at my hips. And this provides me a perfect fit, honestly. It's the one thing that even though Essentials doesn't really have the greatest quality, they really do have some really good fits. And that's something that Jerry really takes to heart is the fits. I can't really find clothing that fits exactly the same as a lot of Essentials pieces. Which kind of sucks because some of them are really expensive, like $100 for some sweatpants. Kind of crazy for the quality that they're at and the fact that some people are saying they're skinnier than previous collections and you don't even know what you're getting. I'd say a sweatshirt, you could probably go with a true to size or even size down one in it. It does feature like really big drop shoulder in it, 
but that's for the intended look. If you want to play it safe, I would just say go with your true to size. I'm sorry, I'm not the best of help with this one just because of the fact that I have been in between sizes. I used to take a large and essentials t-shirts, which now I am honestly more of a medium. So I would say that in essential sizing, I'm probably a large. So then I would take a large in this, but I think even the new essentials t-shirts fit a little bit differently. People are saying they fit smaller. I don't know. I noticed that my six collection t-shirt definitely fit more like a medium essentials t-shirt rather than a large. So this has been this collection review. Let me know what you guys think of the essentials collection. I actually think that the shoes are looking really interesting. I don't know how I feel about the whole collection. I know that they released some hats like the one I have in the back of most of my videos up here. But to me, honestly, it's just another essentials collection. I think that the quality like rising from other YouTubers is kind of not lying but I don't, I don't think that the quality really increased all that much with a lot of these pieces. I've been seeing people's like essentials t-shirts that say essentials, fear of God on it, and it's peeling off already after one wear. Nylon shorts are the same thing. I don't think any of my other essentials stuff has done that at all. So I don't know. I think the quality control issues are still kind of an issue. For what it is, if you want a perfect fit for like a t-shirt or a sweater, or a hoodie, I keep saying sweater, sweatshirt. No matter what it is, honestly, you get a really great fit, which is what Essentials is really good for, in my opinion. If you're buying for the quality, I would buy different stuff. You can buy some John Elliott sweatshirts for really cheap use. A lot of John Elliott stuff in general you can find for better quality than what Essentials is giving you for the same price. Although, it's a completely different look for both of them. One is definitely more street, and the other one is a little bit more normal in a sense let me know what your guys thoughts are of essentials in the comments below and like always please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> that guy's got a lamborghini right there <laughs> <laughs>